Hi and welcome back to my channel where this week we're gonna update you on so much house shenanigans. We've had contractors in and out for the last few months working on helping me with a bit of painting and also the bathroom downstairs but more on that in another video. We have about 2700 square feet and it's a hundred year old home and this thing just really needed some seriously new paint. So let's just jump right into it and take you back to the start of painting. Hi and good morning and welcome and it feels so good to be back working on the house. I feel like it's been forever. We went to Bermuda and we had all these other trips that we've been doing just enjoying the summer and kind of letting work things be reconfigured behind the scenes and like organizing housekeeping just like feeling good about life before coming back to work on the house. Um, Anyways, we had Penny come by and help us with this molding situation. It went from this like potentially picture frame molding like an inch down from the ceiling, looking really, really and questionable. It looks so much better. We literally just put um, a quarter round and stapled it in and caulked it. And it goes from really, bad looking to like it looks like crown molding and we did that for like i think it was like 75 dollars for all the pieces that we used that we tagged up there so big shout out to penny we just found her on the next door app and um she's been a lifesaver she had a lot of good reviews from locals who've worked with her so um yeah just really grateful to be moving forward on this project oh my gosh look Right there is where you can really see the difference of the two um, finishes. She hasn't caulked here just yet, but like she has kind of caulked like halfway of there. And it's such a game changer, I can't even tell you. Working in this corridor is a nightmare. The whole area is another level. We have like one of those really long ladders that you can just like use. And Fidel was like placing the base of his ladder here and then like leaning it up on this wall to kind of access and work plaster there. So that is a mission in itself. And then like coming from this side, you could like lean it that way and kind of access this top portion. So it's going to be some risky business for sure. I'm so excited to see this space not the way that it is now with this weird <laughs> purple white. It's so gross. I hate it. Anyways, that's it for my update. I'm going to get back to playing some music, drinking my morning coffee and um, finishing to prep a couple of places um, that need some finishing touches before Penny paints. <laughs> switch it came in the house i'm gonna spray paint the frame for it clean it up a little but look how satisfying i love it it's so good I've been listening to 
a lot of like whole cool house techno inspo for DJ stuff, which has been really fun. I actually have always loved house music. It's definitely been the vibe since like the beginning of time. I love so many genres of music, um, maybe except for like heavy metal, but for the most part, I like all of them. Um, I wanted to sit down and just talk about Jackie. Oh, hey Odin, spooked me. Hi bud, you wanna come sit here? Come sit, come on. Sit, 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 good boy. Um, okay, oh, you're gonna lay down. I just gave you a bath, you're gonna lay in all this dust? You're gonna lay in it. Oh my God. <laughs> Hi Odin, okay. So I wanted to give a big shout out to Jackery for sponsoring today's video. You guys know how much we love our Jackery and how handy it's come in. And no joke, I've been using it like nonstop, especially in this room for this build. I've had to run extension cords and it just got really complicated. So it's been really helpful to just move the Jackery wherever I'm working so I can have the sander on hand or charging the nail gun or charging my phone so I can listen to more of my DJ beats. <laughs> it's been so helpful and um, oh my God. <laughs> so whether you're working on house projects and need a quick and easy way to power up your tools or if you have plans or are already traveling off grid as a nomadic adventurer like we've been, Jackery is a great product to have around. Be sure to check out the link in the description below if you guys are interested in investing in a sustainable and portable power bank. Thanks again to Jackery for sponsoring this portion of the video. Anywho, <clears throat> just another day here in the office of the Chestnut House. I don't think I've ever shown you this corridor space now that it's pretty much finished. There's a couple of things that still need to be done. Obviously the doors all still need to be painted, but um, things are looking more complete in this space, which is really, really cool. But I'm gonna get back to work now in Azalea's new room. And uh, here we go. Welcome to my office. So glamorous. <laughs> I'm working in what was gonna be my studio and is now gonna be Azalea's bedroom. So I'm redoing Azalea's bedroom in here because she wanted to be connected to our room. And I made a big, big, big mistake of pulling down crown molding up top. And we had to pay some guys to help us because it was a big project and I definitely was not in the mood to do it. Um, anyways, that's done. Everything looks good. I'm gonna start working on the closet, plastering, repairing, and all the prep work for this room because Penny is coming to paint next week. Um, Fernando and his guy are working on pressure washing the house outside and getting everything cleaned up for painting the exterior. Things are moving and shaking and looking good. And Odin is about to jump out the window. <laughs> Sitting here in a closet, fun. <laughs> I watched some of our really old YouTube videos and I realized some things and just how much we've grown and changed and <clears throat> how much life has happened since just four years ago. It's kind of wild how much we have created and done over the years. And I just, I don't know, wanted to sit here and say thank you for still sticking around and watching the channel and evolving with me and my family and everything. <clears throat>
to what is currently known as, I don't know, just the next room. <laughs> Justin and Isaiah have gone to the swimming pool for a day. He's been working so much and Zay's really been needing some quality time with her pops. So that gives me today to really get this thing done because Penny is coming tomorrow to paint and I have to glaze, finish the window, paint the window, stay in the closet, rebuild the window, <clears throat> caulk, add the AC vent, lots of things to do. But tomorrow, actually Tuesday, this whole room should be finished. Let's get to work. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited too. It's gonna be good. Like deja vu, except I'm doing it instead of Justin. Screw old windows. <laughs> there is so much that we have learned in renovating this house. I'm not sure that we will ever buy a very old house again, or at least one in the condition that this house was in. <laughs> we um, <clears throat> have been lately really realizing how big of a project this is that we've taken on and how little time we have recently. So, it's been a whole thing, for sure. I took out these two panes of glass and um, smashed them in the process. <laughs> so, had to put in new glass. I do not enjoy this at all. I'm not a, like, delicate, crafty person? I'm not sure if that even makes sense. Ow! Oh my god, under the nail! Damn! That really hurt. Working with these like tiny, tiny, tiny points that are like, let me see, 3D. Such a joke, man. You have to like poke the pointy side into the glass. Justin was like, if you do it at an angle, that's not good. Be careful because you can smash the glass. That's clearly not good. Basically, everything's not good. Be careful. <laughs> Don't mess up. Oh my God. Time to glaze. Fun stuff. So Justin's been beekeeping a lot. Zay has been in summer camp and I have been managing lots of contractors here at the house and working on really grinding to get the house done. I am straight up sweating my ass off. It's so hot with the window open. It's been like 90 degrees here in North Carolina. Anyways, I have to take off these boards because I need to access the weights because the ropes are broken and the nails they're using are from like the 1900s, so they're super thick. <laughs> and there's so many gross cobweb things once I open this up, but um, needs to be done, so let's get, get it done. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be really hard to get good lighting. Let's see if we can ro make a rotation. It's a little better. All right. Um, okay, so this is definitely not the ideal situation. We have these old windows, which you've seen us restore in the past. It's missing the wood that goes from like this circle to this circle up here. And so I put in a screw and then I put another one up here and I'm gonna cut this and just kind of hope for the best. <laughs> Definitely an improvised setup. I'm hoping that this will work. Bam. So now I just have to do the other side, but essentially the weights kind of help offset the window so that you can move them up and down with ease. Today's project is sanding all the moldings and the baseboards and finishing to sand basically all the walls so that I can have this place cleaned up and prepared to be caulked tomorrow morning. Go mode. Total game changer. Look at this space. Wow. The first coat is done and Penny will be back tomorrow to do a second coat and really make it look good. Wow. Paint is just like amazing. I just like can't even believe it. What hard work. Last week was crazy with all the sanding and now just really see it clean and finished and beautiful it's just coming together really nicely the guys are outside painting the like boxing of the house and that's also coming along really nicely um I will also i have chosen a sample i'm excited to make this my studio office space and i've chosen a really cool sample um of like a rustic lilac purple um, that I think will be really nice in this room and I'm just going to paint over the two turquoise walls I think that will give it a nice Facelift that's something different than the other room now that Zeta is moving into that room So it'll just be a quick paint job. No bigs, um, but I'm excited for it to be kind of lilac-y Oh, <laughs> 
sounds like a good idea. I don't want to get paint on it. That'd be a bummer, huh?